were contacted on this 2002 Saturn LS from a very reputable local shop. It has a V6 3.0 engine and about 130,000 miles. It will intermittently die when it is put into gear and when it comes to a stop. It will also occasionally misfire and backfire through the intake. It also had a slight loss of power. The fuel pressure has been checked and the EGR valve has been replaced. We tried to recreate the problem by putting it in gear a few times, but the engine seemed to be running fine. We then connected the scan tool. After entering most of the VIN information, the process restarted all on its own. After entering the information again, the screen changed to an unreadable view. We were not able to communicate with the PCM. The first step when checking a no communication problem is to check the power and ground signals to the diagnostic connector. Pin 4 is a chassis ground, pin 5 is sensor ground, and pin 16 is battery positive. After connecting to pin 16 and pin 5, the voltmeter was reading some extraordinary values. Look how high and erratic the voltage is. At one moment, the reading is 5 volts, and the next is 32 volts. Do you think this might be affecting the scan tool communication? This is a 12 volt system. What can cause the voltage to go to more than 16 volts? If you said something in the secondary ignition system must be feeding through the connector, you may be correct. Let's take a look at the secondary ignition wiring diagram for this vehicle. This ignition system has what is referred to as a cassette ignition. It has three coils and an ignition coil module in one package. The PCM controls the firing of each coil. Notice there is a common ground connection for each cassette. Next, we connected the lap scope to a few ground locations. The red trace is pin 5 of the ALDL. The green trace is connected to mass airflow sensor ground and the blue trace is connected to the digital EGR ground. Look at the voltage spike on these lines. We also show a max spike of 68 volts. While wiggling the primary wires going to the 2, 4, 6 coil cassette, the traces would momentarily flatten out. I think we are getting close to the cause. There it is. The ground connection for both cassettes is not connected. We found out later the engine had been replaced in this vehicle. After connecting the ground, the engine ran great. But how did it run without the cassette ground connection? Well, we put our heads together, and this is the explanation. These coils fire in a similar manner as a DIS system. It fires the spark and the current returns to the secondary winding through the ground connection. When the ground is removed, the current would fire the spark plug and then return by traveling along the block, firing another plug and then return to the secondary. This explains the loss of power and occasional backfire. See you next time in the Wells Garage.